Hey guys, Tom Victa, product manager uh, for pistols at FN America. So here today, we're just gonna talk a little bit about the 509 optic system. So some of you guys might not know, we kind of started the production optics pistol about a decade ago. And that's when we introduced the FNP45, which has a, the plate system that pretty much all the other manufacturers use today, or something very similar. Now when uh, 2018, when we launched the 509 Tactical, which you see here, we completely changed how you mount an optic to the pistol. And I'm gonna show you guys a little bit about that today. So what we have here is the 509 Tactical. I've got a couple optics and the optics kit that chips with the gun. So first thing I'm gonna do, ensure this gun's clear. I'm just gonna field strip it real quick. And we'll go through what's nice about the 509 optics system. So the optics kit ships with all the 509 optics ready pistols like the tactical we have here and then the midsize MRD. Um, but first thing I'm gonna do, we'll cut this open, get our Allen, it's actually a Torx wrench. So one of the nice features about this system, it includes pretty much everything you need to mount all the different optics and everything is Torx screwed. So you don't have to worry about stripping these screws out. But let me remove these and we'll go through and mount a couple optics. So, one nice feature about this is they're all self-locking threads. So when we mount these optics on here, you don't have to add any thread locker or anything like that. Um, you just torque it down to about 22 inch pounds. That's inch pounds, not foot pounds. And then you can shoot it worry-free. And uh, one of the nice things then, we'll touch on it here, with the Delta Point Pro. So the system has these interchangeable, I call them puzzle pieces, but they're the MRD plates. So all of these optics, well, you just have the two here, but all the optics, you put the appropriate plate, which has the recoil lugs that locks into the slide. You mount the optic on just like this. So you get the recoil bosses, and then we're going to add the screws that screw directly into the slide. So you have the screws that go through the optic into the slide. Unlike uh, our old system and the system that a lot of competitors use which stack plates and you might have two sets of screws and stacking tolerances, but all you have to do, put the screws in like that. And the Delta Point Pro is also known to be one of the tallest and largest optics. So you tighten that down to about 22 inch pounds and you don't have to worry. And like I said, with this being a very tall optic, with most guns, you wouldn't be able to use the backup iron sights. Now, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, guys, but this is pretty much the largest optic and you can get co-witness sights straight out of the box. So that's how you would mount the Delta Point Pro. And then what we'll also do real quick, I'll show you guys how you change the interchangeable pieces to mount the ChurchCon SRO. So you just kind of go reverse, break these screws open. Like I said, what's nice, you don't need any thread locker. They're all Torx. And one of the other features that's nice about <clears throat> the one set of screws, some of the other systems you bolt a plate onto the slide and then you bolt the optic to the plate. Now the problem with that is you can't really check the tightness of your screws without removing the optic. And then when you remove the optic, you gotta go re-zero uh, your pistol. So that's one really nice feature about just having one set of screws. Now what I'm gonna do right now is mount that Trigicon SRO. So I cut open the appropriate hardware that's included you're going to remove this piece, replace it with the Trigicon piece. So as you see, there's a little O-ring in there. That O-ring's providing upward pressure on the optic. It also helps lock the screws in. So you place that in there. Now, because the sights are lined up to use a suppressor, they're much taller than they need to be um, because most of the optics you can mount really low. But if you mounted this optic all the way down like this, you wouldn't be able to see through the sights because the sights would cover up most of the window. So what we include is this polymer riser plate. Now what's nice about that is because it's just a spacer, it's like a shim, 
we make it out of plastic. And on the normal Trigicon, you would have an O-ring here. So it completely seals the lower part of the Trigicon RMR. The SRO is sealed on the bottom anyway. But you mount that on there. These screws go through the optic, down through the shim, and just kind of squeeze it like a sandwich. And screw those on like so. Tighten them down to 22 inch pounds and you're good to go. And that's what makes the FN509 optics mounting system so great, is this new plate system that doesn't require you to stack a metal plate on top of the slide, which can slide back and forth and add extra stress to the screws. You can direct mount all the optics through the optic into the slide without the extra screws, no thread locker, they're all torque screws and everything has co-witness sights. So you can kind of future-proof. If today you want a Leopold and tomorrow you want to try a Trigicon and next week you want to have a, a Vortex, you can mount anything you want up there all ready to go out of the box. That's the 509 Tactical there with the Trigicon SRO. If you want to learn more about the 509 family of pistols, or any of the optics information, you can visit fnamerica.com. Or if you want to watch some more about the 509 pistol family, check out guns.com. Thanks, guys.